Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel in Moral Grandeur and Spiritual Audacity is quoted as saying, the beginning of prayer is praise. The power of worship is song. To worship is to join the cosmos in praising God. Prayer is meaningless unless it is subversive, unless it seeks to overthrow and ruin the pyramids of callousness, hatred, opportunism, falsehoods. The liturgical movement must become a revolutionary movement seeking to overthrow the forces that continue to destroy the promise, the hope, the vision. I love this quote from Heschel. I love this quote from Heschel because I love davening. I love davening because it's a way to connect to God. It's a way to connect to Am Yisrael. It is a way to reflect on my values. It is a way to ground myself in my broad, my broader purpose. I love davening. But I also love davening and brachot because of what Heschel said here, that it is subversive. subversive that it is a revolutionary movement when we daven because we are actually working to uproot the callousness within us, that each of us has blind spots, each of us has vices, bad midot, each of us has our avoda, each of us has our spiritual work to do to continue to grow um, spiritually and morally and, and Jewishly in all ways possible. And indeed, we live in a messy, broken world of injustice, of evil, of mean-spirited attacks, of all types of hate. And we need to protest those. But not only do we need to protest those out in the street, we need to protest those within our own hearts. Because each of us has teshuva to do. Each of us has ways to grow. And davening, for Heschel, as he says here, is a chance for us to break open a little bit, to crack open the darkness, and pour some light in there and to do the work of seeing our potentiality so that we can bring light to dark spaces. I experience this in my work every day. We need to bring Torah to the streets. We need to bring spirituality to all we do, not just to the Beit Knesset, not just to the places where we pray in a minion, but we need to make sure that that prayer works. It works in a way that it transforms us so that we can bring this God consciousness out into the streets. A God consciousness about the Rabona Sha'olam up in Shemayim, but also the God consciousness of the Tzalem Elohim, the godliness within every human being that demands of us a spiritual revolution towards empathy and towards working for kindness and justice. I'm grateful to Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel for all he wrote, but in particular, this piece of Torah, which helps me to think about not just saying prayer, but being a prayer.